The Terran forces of the 1st Space Infantry Division found themselves on the brink of defeat against the overwhelming Zarnak hordes. During the Galactic War, the Zarnak Empire ruthlessly seized control of planet Urea, strategically establishing it as a pivotal stronghold within their expanding empire. Recognizing the escalating threat posed by the Zarnak Empire, the Terran Union bolstered its military presence on Uriah, transforming the planet into a fiercely contested battleground between Terran and Zarnak forces. The Zarnak forces executed a surprise assault, launching a massive invasion of Terran-controlled territories, catching the defenders off guard and plunging them into disarray. Breaching Terran defenses along the planetary divide, the Zarnak forces overwhelmed the defenders with their numerical superiority. Equipped with lighter weaponry, the Terran troops struggled against the Zarnak assault, but ultimately were forced into a tactical retreat. The escalating conflict for control of Urea evolved into a full-scale intergalactic war, garnering the attention of major powers across the galaxy. Responding decisively, the Terran Alliance, led by General Marcus, launched a swift counteroffensive, mobilizing all available forces from neighboring star systems. The Terran Alliance deployed the renowned 1st Infantry Division, which had been established during the Galactic War. The 1st Infantry Division, stationed at a remote outpost on the planet Gaia-1, had previously played a pivotal role in defending Terran colonies during the intense Gaia-1 conflict. Through relentless battles along the Gaian frontier, the division had successfully repelled alien incursions and secured crucial territories for humanity. The infantrymen of the 1st Division exhibited unparalleled courage as they engaged in close quarters combat against hostile alien forces, fearlessly charging into the heart of enemy formations and emerging victorious against overwhelming odds. Throughout the Galactic War, the Division had played a pivotal role in defending Terran colonies from alien aggression, executing daring assaults and engaging in fierce planetary campaigns to repel enemy incursions. If you enjoyed this story, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more content. Thank you for your support. The soldiers of the 1st Infantry Division had distinguished themselves in the liberation of key Terran colonies during the Galactic War, notably in the Philippa system. Through daring planetary assaults and ground campaigns, the Division had played a crucial role in securing Terran-held territories, thereby safeguarding humanity's survival against alien attacks. With its ranks now restored to full capacity, the 1st Infantry Division embarked on an ambitious campaign to retake strategic territories from the Zarnak forces. Bolstered by a formidable fleet, the Division launched a bold offensive to liberate key planets from the grip of the alien occupiers. Capitalizing on a strategic advantage, Terran forces orchestrated a coordinated assault on Zarnak-held territories, catching the alien occupiers off guard. Engaging in a daring landing operation on Uriah, Terran armor and infantry units descended upon hostile territory, stunning the enemy with the intensity of their assault. The 1st Infantry Division plunged into fierce combat, clashing with Zarnak defenders as they pressed forward. Despite encountering staunch resistance, the division advanced steadily toward the heart of the alien-occupied city of Vinia. Despite facing communication breakdowns and ambushes from Zarnak insurgents, the 1st Infantry Division persevered, receiving crucial aerial support from Allied spacecraft. Overcoming these obstacles, the division successfully liberated Vinia and routed the retreating enemy forces. The euphoria of reclaiming key territories was short-lived as reports surfaced of reinforcements from the Zarnak military. With fresh enemy forces on the horizon, the Terran and Allied troops braced themselves for a new, more formidable phase of the conflict. 
As renewed hostilities erupted, the battle-weary soldiers of the 1st Infantry Division found themselves with little time for respite. Amidst the chaos of war, they sent heartfelt messages to their loved ones, bracing them for the grueling campaign ahead. The Tsarnak forces unleashed a massive assault, overwhelming Terran and allied garrisons stationed at the planetary front lines. Despite mounting a fierce resistance, the outnumbered defenders struggled to maintain their positions until reinforcements could arrive to repel the enemy onslaught. In response to intelligence reports, the 1st Infantry Division and its allied forces were swiftly redeployed to strategic zones in an effort to halt the advancing Zarnak forces. The planetary landings were fraught with peril as Terran warships encountered heavy resistance from Zarnak, delaying their arrival at the designated landing zones. Meanwhile, Terran ground forces labored tirelessly to secure the ports and establish a beachhead amidst fierce opposition. After securing the landing zones, the 1st Infantry Division received orders to advance deep into enemy territory, spearheading the assault on strategic territories positioned near zarnak controlled areas. This deployment marked one of the furthest advances made by Terran troops on Urea. Alongside Allied forces, the soldiers of the 1st Infantry Division established fortified positions, meticulously preparing for a protracted campaign by fortifying their defenses in anticipation of a renewed enemy offensive. Their thorough preparations proved crucial as they braced themselves for the impending onslaught from the Zarnak forces. Engaged in fierce skirmishes with the Zarnak forces, Terran troops found themselves outnumbered and outgunned against the alien assault. The battle quickly devolved into brutal close-quarters combat, with Terran defenders fighting against the overwhelming enemy forces. The 1st Infantry Division found itself encircled and outnumbered by multiple Zarnak forces, bearing the brunt of the enemy assault at the water reservoir battle. Despite their heroic resistance, they were eventually overwhelmed by the superior numbers of Zarnak forces, resulting in heavy casualties and a strategic retreat. Despite the heavy toll exacted by the conflict, the soldiers of the 1st Infantry Division regrouped and redeployed to the front lines, unwavering in their resolve to turn the tide of the war in humanity's favor. Under the leadership of the 17th Infantry Division, the 1st Infantry Division launched a series of bold offensives, engaging the Zarnak forces in fierce combat across strategic locations. Ultimately, the division succeeded in driving the enemy back from planet Urea, reclaiming vital territory for the Terran Alliance. Engaging in a grueling three-day battle to retake the water reservoir, the 1st Infantry Division confronted the Zarnak forces in a desperate struggle for control of the planet. Despite facing overwhelming odds, the division emerged victorious, reclaiming vital territory for humanity. Through their efforts, the 1st Infantry Division achieved a decisive breakthrough, driving the Zarnak forces from Uriah. This victory marked a pivotal moment in the conflict, signaling a crucial turning point in the war against the Zarnak. 